Hello again from my front porch, my dreary, rainy front porch. <laughs> I tell you, I, I had a topic in mind to, to, for us to chat about today, but then I came to, out here to sit on the front porch and I'm looking out at my yard and I'm thinking, wow, it is November 3rd and my grass is very green. The lawns are very, I mean, the, the leaves fallen from the trees, but, but the, the grass is very green. The bushes, in fact, here, let, let, me, let me show you just how green everything looks outside. Check this out. See, you can see the neighbor's yard. You can see my yard out there as well. See, look at all that. Look how green everything is. Now, don't get me wrong, I like green. I, I, I like it over the white. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna be coming up on my 51st winter here in Iowa, and I still haven't come to enjoy it. In fact, actually, I probably enjoyed it more when I was little. <laughs> the, the older I get, the less I enjoy. <laughs> but I'm still here, so. <laughs> uh, but, It's November 3rd in Iowa. I like the green grass, but it shouldn't be raining right now. The grass shouldn't be green right now. And again, I, I know I, I, people are gonna be like, well, are you complaining? Would you prefer to have ice? Would you prefer to have snow? No, I would not prefer to have either one of those. But the reality is that's what we should be having. That is the most definite. They're predicting rain off and on here this entire coming week. Uh, I, I went out this morning and actually uh, real quick went out my the walk out to my to my patio out, out my back door. Uh, the the leaves been falling like crazy, and the leaves will gather up in the in the walkway area there, uh, and and. Uh, and then on the patio and stuff. And there was one year that I didn't pay attention to that. I wasn't, we weren't going in and out that, that exit at all. And, and I didn't worry about it. And then the snow came. And, and that particular year the snow came and it stayed. Uh, and then there was more snow and then it would start to melt and there'd be more snow. And, and it wasn't until things warmed up and it melted away that I was able to finally address those leaves. And by then it was an icky, mulchy, gross, ugh. It was a lot tougher to deal with at that point than it was when the leaves would have been dry to take care of them. So, so I hustled out there this morning before uh, the, the, the little rain started. And it's not like a heavy rain. It's, it's ironically like a spring rain. <laughs> I say ironically because the grass looks like it should be spring. Uh, and I, I, I love the green grass in springtime. I, I, after you've survived the winter, and, and it finally starts getting to a point where the, the grass comes up and, and you look out and now all of a sudden all the stuff that was brown is green. It's like, ooh, I like green, yes! <laughs> and I do like the green now. I prefer it over the white, but it's weird. It shouldn't be there. The bushes outside my, by my, well, I mean, they're kind of evergreen, so I guess they're a little bit, but the green is supposed to be more muted than it is right now. It's vibrant green. Um, and it's just, honestly, if anyone who denies that climate change is happening is, is foolish. Uh, I'm not a climatologist. I don't study climate. Uh, I mean, I, re I read up on, on the topic. I read, you know, stuff from all across the, the spectrum. Um, but I, I don't think it's possible to intellectually deny that the climate is changing. Now, I personally think the jury is still a bit out as to why the climate is changing. I think there's significant, significant information to support that a lot of what's happening is natural and cyclical. That this isn't even the first time that it's happened. Uh, and that the geological record contains that evidence. 
and yet we, we, we want to make this, well, it's all about humanity. And the challenge that I often make to people is like, one of the things we hear about is, well, the climate is changing and uh, the sea levels are rising because you know, mankind is doing this stuff to raise the temperature of the planet, causing the ice to melt. And so that's, that's causing the sea levels to rise. And and we and so we need to do all these different programs and all this kind of stuff because we gotta we gotta reverse that trend. Well, uh, you know I might buy into that in figuring out how what it was mankind has done in the last several decades to raise the ocean levels a few feet. If someone can tell me what mankind did to raise those ocean levels several hundred feet over the last many centuries, hundreds of centuries, because that is what we know, that the ocean levels have been rising since the end of the Ice Age. That was a long time ago. And I'm not exactly sure what humanity had to do with the end of the Ice Age and the ongoing melting of the ice and raising the sea levels. How do we know they've risen that high? Well, number one, science tells us they have the same science that says this is the cause of, of all of our climate stuff today. The same intellectual process and science also tells us that the ocean levels have been rising hundreds of feet for a very long time. But even beyond that, we all, I mean, there, there are entire civilizations underwater now that were built at one time on perfectly dry ground. They are not underwater because there was some volcano or earthquake and it submerged. They were simply built on land that was dry at the time. Oh, water levels have continued to rise and now those civilizations are submerged underwater. And that happened so long ago that many of those civilizations were long forgotten until they were more recently rediscovered. So, uh, yeah, I... I'm not saying that we are good stewards of our planet, however. Deforestation, water pollution, um, I mean, just uh, any number of things. Air pollution. It's, uh, it's the things that we do to our planet and our short-sighted nature and, and, and our, our desire to be selfish for ourselves, for the immediate here and now, without any thought of the long term, uh, is absolutely disturbing and mind-boggling. So I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, don't think for a minute that I'm saying that, that, um, that we don't need to clean up our act in cleaning up our planet. That's not it at all. But, but, I, I, I just don't buy into the notion that things humanity is doing are causing the climate change at the, at the scale we're seeing. Because like, I'm seeing this green grass out here. I should not be seeing this green grass. I should not be seeing this rain. This should be, this should be an ice storm. This should be a snowstorm. That should be what is happening right now instead of rain. And this whole week coming up, I should be facing a miserable week of snow, slick roads and snowy conditions uh, instead of the nuisance of rain. Here's one, uh, one, one thing that I've noticed as well. Uh, in, in addition to how, how we're seeing this kind of climate change happening, it seems to me the seasons have also shifted. You know, where we say winter starts here and goes to here and then it's summer and then, or then it's spring and then spring goes to here and then it's summer and then summer goes to here to fall and fall back to winter. I don't, I don't think those delineations are, are accurate anymore. I think we need to shift those almost, uh, almost a month because like this right now, um, th this actually would make sense if it was end of September, 1st of October. That, then it might make more sense, but 3rd of November? This, this view I'm looking at just doesn't make sense. The leaves all falling off the trees, that makes sense. The, the green grass and the rain for a week, that doesn't, that, that, that's, that's not what I grew up with. And as you'll recall, when my dad and mom last were here on the front porch, my dad was talking about growing up in the winters and how they would get snow that was so deep they would actually hook up uh, uh, sleds uh, on uh, uh, yeah, skis, sleds, uh, on the wagon and, and hook it to their two draft horses. Draft horses are big honking horses. 
they would hook up to two draft horses to the wagon that was now mounted on sleds and they would drive that into town and the snow was so deep that they would be driving over the snow and they'd actually be literally going over fence lines because the snow was so high, so deep, packed, the fence lines were buried so far under that snow that this wagon led by draft horses could go across the fences without causing damage to the fences that were buried under the snow. Now that, that blows my mind. That is phenomenal because contrast that to what I'm seeing here. Things, things have changed. Things definitely are different. The, the, the seasons don't seem to start when they traditionally have, and even when they're happening, they're not, they don't have the same characteristics as they have in the past. Just even within my lifetime or the lifetime of the previous generation. And so, uh, you know, that's, yeah, the, again, this isn't the topic that I was planning to talk about when I, when I first came out here to, to sit down, but, but, you know, you go with what's happening. That's, you know, if, we, if you were here sitting with me on, on the front porch, literally sitting right here with me, this is probably what we'd be talking about. We'd probably be saying, isn't this weird today? Look at it raining. Look at all that green grass out there. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's, that, that, it, 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 it is. It is weird. And the weather is weird. The climate is weird. The world is weird. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> but life goes on, and so do we, and we'll, no, we'll make it through. We may have to adapt, but we'll make it through, and we'll still be here tomorrow, and I'll be here next time on my front porch. <laughs> that was a horrible segue. <laughs> you know, it sounded better in my head as it started to formulate, but then as it was coming out, I was like, what in the world are you saying? <laughs> that was very cheesy. Very, very cheesy. I apologize. Uh, if, if I was going to do something cheesy, I could do a lot better than that. That was, that was really sad. That was <laughs> oh, well, anyway. Uh, I guess I'll just go back to enjoying my green grass and my rainy weather. I'm actually doing some editing right at the moment on my uh, monkeys playlist. Uh, <laughs> I know you're all thinking I'm insane. I probably am. But uh, my playlist now is over 10 hours long. <laughs> yes, there is that much content to populate. Yes, indeed, there is. And there's more coming. <laughs> All right, uh, speaking of more coming, or you're wishing there wasn't more coming, I should cut this one off here. <laughs> the other topic that I was gonna do, I'll save, it wasn't time critical, so I'll, we'll, we'll talk about that another time. So at this point, I'll let you go, and I'll see you all next time from my front porch. <laughs>